Hey, 4xE fans, and, and welcome to the channel, anybody who has not been here before. Actually, this video is intended for a couple of different crowds, a couple of different people. Um, it's intended for anybody who intends on selling anything in the Jeep 4xE lineup, uh, whether that's a Wrangler 4xE, a Grand Cherokee 4xE, a Compass 4xE, or a Renegade 4xE, depending on where you are in the world. And anybody who is doing a review, like if you're, if you have video content on YouTube and you're doing a review of one of those vehicles, this, in, this video is intended for those two groups of people. Now you're welcome to stay and watch if you're a regular subscriber. I'm not going to kick you off or anything, but just know that this video is directed at those people. And, and I, and I'm saying this with the kindest of heart and the best of intentions. I'm not trying to harsh anyone's gig. I'm just trying to, uh, convey some information that I see repeatedly sent out in the world incorrectly. So first of all, if you noticed, I said 4 by e all through the beginning of this video. I did not say 4XE. If you want your customer or your viewer to understand clearly that you have not done any research on any Jeep official channels, refer to this product as 4XE. But if you want them to know that you've done your research and have watched uh, any kind of video that Jeep has put out, you will note that they say 4 by e and it doesn't matter if it's here in North America or over in Europe, everybody universally says 4 by e because 4 by e is that product. And if you haven't noticed, Jeep is pushing that brand. It's you know, like 4 by e is almost becoming a, a brand recognition thing. And where that comes from, if you have the term 4 by 4 4 X4, or am I saying that backwards if you're watching this video, but anytime you see 4X and 4, you know that's 4x4. Four four. So you take off the second 4 and you put an E in 4x E. And everything that Jeep has put out, they say 4x E, they never say 4XE. So that's a point when I, when I hear somebody right at the beginning of their video say 4XE, I automatically know this person has not done a lot of research or they've just read everything and they haven't watched any other videos, which is fair. That's, that's fair to do that. But just know that that is a thing that, um, you know, if you, if you say 4XE, we know you haven't done a lot of research into that. The second thing, and, and this one is, I don't know, for some reason, it's one of those things that I take, it, it gets to me, is when dealerships and reviewers say that you will get 49 miles to the gallon out of the Wrangler 4xE. If you do not know the difference between MPG and MPGE, which is where that 49 figure comes from on the Wrangler or the 56 figure on the Grand Cherokee 4xE, if you do not know the difference between those two figures, go over to Wikipedia and punch in MPGE. Or I've got some videos where I explain the difference between MPG and MPGE. It is very confusing, obviously, and it is a little bit difficult to understand, but MPGE only applies when the engine in any 4xE product is not running. The vehicle is being propelled by electric only. That's where MPGE comes in. MPG now is, it comes into play when the gas engine is running. And if you'll note on every sticker, whether it's a Wrangler, a Grand Cherokee, a Renegade, or a Compass 4xE, there is, well, depending on where you are in the world, it might not be MPG, it might be liters, miles per liter, or however you state that. But there are two different figures. The MPGE one applies when it's in electric mode. The MPG one applies when, if you've gone 300 miles, you haven't charged the engine, the, the battery, you're just running on the gas engine. That's where MPG applies. And if you'll notice on the sticker, like the Wrangler 4xE, it says 49 MPGE, 21 MPG. That's important to note because there are people, I, I, I'm telling you, I've had no less than 15 conversations with people over the past three years, almost three years, people asking, hey, how do I get 49 miles to the gallon out of my Wrangler 4xE because I'm only getting around 20 when I'm on long trips and I have to break the news to them, you're not going to get 49 miles to the gallon. That MPGE figure applies only when you're propelling the vehicle with the electric motor. And then people will turn around and trade that vehicle in and, um, you know, they're, they're done with it. They're not 
they're not going to continue to drive that vehicle. Now, some, a lot of, most people just keep them. But I'll tell you what this, this does for salespeople. You're never going to get a return sale out of that person because you misled them. Now, I know it was unintentional. It's an unintentional misleading. But when you have somebody that buys a fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollar $70,000 vehicle thinking it's going to get 49 miles a gallon and they don't, your future sales are gone. And if you want a long career in sales, you know you cannot mislead people because you will not get those return customers and you'll have to fight for every sale you get, you know, going forward because you're not getting repeat customers. So I, I just wanted to share this information. I know it gets a little long winded, but I, I, we're still seeing both salespeople and uh, reviewers of these vehicles. I just watched one this morning where the guy said, I mean, he's, he's driving, he's, this is a, a two month old video and he's saying, you know, of course, once you get, once you deplete the battery, you're going to get 49 miles a gallon. And I'm screaming at the monitor because it's such a well-produced video in all other ways, except for telling the customer or telling the viewer that they're going to get 49 miles a gallon. And, you know, sometimes people will go out and buy a vehicle based on that information, especially when it's a well-produced video and it looks professional and you assume that the person who is speaking knows what they're talking about. So I, I just wanted to share that information for anybody who is selling or reviewing any of the 4xE products. Please don't tell people that the Wrangler gets 49 miles a gallon and please don't tell people that the Grand Cherokee 4xE gets 56 miles a gallon. And, and understand that what the dashboard says can be a little misleading too. Right now, my dashboard says I am getting 50.5 miles to the gallon. That's a little misleading because I haven't run the gas engine in three days. So it is calculating my electrical energy that I'm using into an MPG or into an MPG figure, but that's not actually a true MPG figure. And sometimes we as owners can be just as bad plopping into Jeep groups and saying, well, I'm getting 50 miles a gallon. Or, you know, I had a fill up on this thing one time where it said I got 97 miles a gallon. I, I know that's not true because I, it, the I use the app called Fuely. It does not calculate my electrical energy I used. All it does is say, you use this many gallons and you went this many miles and it figures miles per gallon. But it in no way, shape or form is calculating in my electrical energy used. So I, if you're one of those people that goes into Jeep groups saying you're getting 43 miles a gallon, don't do that either. That's that's highly misleading. And it can vary greatly based on your case use. You know, I drive eight miles to work. If you drive 40 miles to work, you're not going to be ever be able to get the same numbers that I'm getting because I'm driving eight miles to work. I can go to work and back all week and never run the gas engine. And where some people, if you have to run the gas engine 10 miles a day every day, you're never going to be able to get your little MPG gauge to say what mine says because we have two completely different case uses. So there's a lot of information and this video got a little bit longer than I wanted, but uh, just wanted to share that for anybody who is out on YouTube doing research for their reviews to understand what these things are and to communicate them clearly uh, so that you're disseminating proper information at all times. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Take care.